Welcome to St. John United Church of Christ in Collinsville, Illinois. We gather this morning on this Mother's Day, and as we worship together, we have the Mosaic Band with us leading our music, and Lori Janaschak is here with me. She is one of our Mosaic worship leaders, and I am Pastor Katie Jo Bilkey, the associate pastor here at St. John. As we gather together this morning, let us gather in a moment of prayer. Gracious and loving God, as we gather together, as we prepare our hearts for worship, help us to know that we gather together with one another. We are not alone, but you are with each and every one of us. And as you are with us, we gather with our extended St. John family and worship you together. Amen. Why are you striving these days? Why are you trying to run grace? Why are you crying? Let me lift up your face. Just don't turn away. So why are you looking for love? searching as if I'm not enough to where will you go child tell me where will you run to where will you run so I'll be by your side wherever you fall in the dead of night never you call and please don't fight these hands that are holding on this Mother's Day, knowing that for many of us, Mother's Day is a day to celebrate, a day of joy, a day of thanks. But we also acknowledge and recognize that many among us, this is a day that is heartbreaking. It is sad. It is a day of bad memories. And so as we gather, we gather together in this Mother's Day litany, where we acknowledge all of the different aspects of mothers within our lives. And so as we say the litany, I invite you to read that which is bolded on your screen. If you choose, you may just listen and allow the prayer to fill you and embody you. So join me in our responsive Mother's Day litany. This is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it. To those who are pregnant with new life, we anticipate with you and pray that God will knit together the child in your womb. 
to those who gave birth this year to their first child. We celebrate with you. To those who lost a child this year, to those who experienced loss this year through miscarriage, failed adoptions, or accidents, we mourn with you. To those who walk the hard path of infertility, fraught with pokes, prods, tears, hopes that are dashed in disappointment, we walk with you. Forgive us when we say foolish things. We don't mean to make this harder than it is. To those who are moms, foster moms, mentor moms, and spiritual moms, thank you. We need you. We appreciate you. To those who experienced abuse at the hands of your own mother, we acknowledge your experience, and we are sad with you. We hope for your healing. To those who are caring for their mothers in the midst of medical needs, God sustain you. To those whose mother died this year or in years past, we grieve with you, peace to you. This Mother's Day, every day, we all walk together as the family of God. All are valued, all make a difference. For the mothers present and represented among us, we give extra thanksgiving today. For their love, encouragement, and strength, we thank the Lord. Drawn together by the Spirit, we join with others as one family in worship, in prayer, in praise, in company. We come to worship God and to grow in faith together. Let us love one another as God first loved us. Amen. I invite you now to join with me in our prayer of confession. God of steadfast love, we confess that our love is short-sighted. We love our families and friends. We love those close around us. We show partiality to those in positions of power over us, and we ignore those who seem irrelevant. We are selfish with our love loving those who will love us, who will help us. Forgive us, loving Jesus, for not loving the way you did. Call us back into the ways of your love, away from the ways of the world. Amen. Hear these words of assurance. God is love. We love because God first loved us. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us. So go forth knowing that you are loved and forgiven. So share God's love and forgiveness with others. Amen. So today's scripture is from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 8a. So Corinthians is an epistle. An epistle means a letter or message. So Corinthians was Paul's letters or messages to the church of Corinth. Um, and they were struggling at the time internally. So the, his messages were messages of how to be in community and how to care for one another. So this passage might seem familiar because you often hear it at weddings, but it's actually perfect for today. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes in all things, hope in all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Now what I'd like to do is to read this again, but this time, I'm going to change the word out. I'm going to change love for God. And it kind of gives a whole different look at the verse. God is patient. God is kind. God is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. God does not insist on God's own way. God is not irritable or resentful. God does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. God bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all all things. God never ends. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. 
as we gather together on this Mother's Day, it is often a day that we reflect on our own mothers um, and the things that we are thankful for. So, yeah. Lori, I know it has been a few years since your mother has passed, yep. but what are the things that she taught you? What are the things that you would thank her for in your life if she were here today? <sighs> There's so many. I could be here all night, but um, the things I'm probably the most thankful for is, of course, her love, um, her patience and her strength with six kids. You've got to have a lot of patience and strength. Um, and her humor. She has a wonderful sense of humor and, and she passed that on to our family. It was kind of a live, laugh, and love type of family. So um, I'm so thankful for that. Mm -hmm. What about your mom? Um, of course, love. Mm -hmm. My mother wasn't one who often said, I love you, but it was in the things that she did mm -hmm. that you knew how much she loved us. And one of the ways was her constant support. Mm -hmm. And I know throughout my life, I have made decisions that my mother has not always been happy with. Things mm -hmm. like moving, you know, nine hours away or mm -hmm. going away to college and not being so close. But in everything I did, she always supported me. She mm -hmm. never said, oh, I hate that idea, or how dare you do that, or that's the wrong choice for you. Um, she was always very supportive in the things I did, um, including traveling. Mm -hmm. My mother has no, <laughs> no idea why in the world I would ever want to travel somewhere, and um, has always been very supportive when that has been important to me. Mm -hmm. um, so that is one of the things I am most thankful for, is her support and encouragement for me to be me, mm -hmm. and not who she wants me to be or the world wants me to be. Um, and we seem to carry that on, we hope, to our children. That's something that just keeps getting passed down, those strengths from our parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as I was thinking about the things that we are thankful for from our mothers, this book came to mind. Mm -hmm. And it is called The Lovables in the Kingdom of Self-Esteem, and it is by Diane Lumens. And as I read through it, one of the things that really hit me was these are a lot of the things I am thankful for from my mother or from my father or kind of those role models in my life, either things that they told me and taught me or things that they exampled and did and taught me. Um, and so as we read this, imagine these things from your mother or your father or from, you know, maybe an aunt or somebody who has been an important person in your life. This is the lovables in the kingdom of self-esteem. I am lovable. Hi, lovable friend. I'm Mona Monkey. I live in the kingdom of self-esteem along with my friends. We are the lovable team. Come right along and bring your huggable you. We'd all like to meet you and talk to you too. The gates of the kingdom are opening wide as you say these words three times with pride. I am lovable, I am lovable, I am lovable. So come with me and you will see all of the lovable ways to be. I am courageous. I'm a roaring welcome to the kingdom. I'm Lawrence Lyon. In our great kingdom, it is clear that love and friends are always near. So if you're feeling any fear, remember this and leave it here. I am capable. Hello, who? I'm Owen Owl. All the lovables have gifts to share because they're capable and they care. You and your friends are talented too. What is something you love to do? I love to learn. I'm waving hello to you. I'm Elena Elephant. Learning something new each day brings me joy along the way. I'll bet that someone bright as you will love to learn your whole life through. I love to play and have fun. Ha ha, hi friend. We're Bobby and Billy Bear. We wrestle and play in a gentle way. We wiggle and laugh all through the day. Playing and laughing is good for you too. So play every day like the lovables do. I take care of my body. Howdy, I'm Bernie Buffalo. I love my body and eat only the best. I make sure I get plenty of rest. Treat your body with love every day and you'll go galloping on your way. 
I take care of the world around me. Hello, Buddy O. I'm Buddy Beaver. I care for river, sky, and land, for all of nature is so grand. To our world, you too can give loving care so the earth may live. I love others as they are. Oceans of hellos, I'm Daniel Dolphin. All of the lovables near and far are oh so lovable just as they are. Love is the greatest gift you can give to yourself and to others as long as you live. I am gentle and strong. Ahoy, mates, I'm Wong Whale. I'm the biggest and strongest lovable of all. I am gentle to others, both large and small. You too can be strong instead of tough. You too can be gentle instead of rough. I like to share with others. Peace to you. I'm Diana Dove. I like to spread peace both far and wide. Sharing brings happiness from deep inside. When you open your heart to give and to share, you show your friends how much you care. I am kind. A gentle welcome, I'm Dana Dear. I am kind to my friends and kind to me too because I'm important and so are you. Treat yourself with love each day and you will treat others in a kinder way. I am full of joy. Oh boy, oh joy, I'm Hilda Hippo. Hippity hoo ha, hippity hey. Oh my, what a hippo full day. Joy is a special note that you sing when you open your heart and you let your song ring. I am special and unique. Hi, special friend, I'm Oscar Ostrich. With such skinny legs, some say I'm absurd. Still, I know I'm a really neat bird. You are special by just being you. Love yourself and others will too. I am proud to be me. Stripes ahoy, I'm Xena Zebra. I feel proud to be who I am. All of my stripes are quite really grand. You are important with your own special part to play. So show who you are in your own special way. I am beautiful. Fantastic to meet you. I'm Pierre Peacock. My feathers are beautiful as can be. I spread them wide for all to see. There is a secret that you too must know. True beauty comes from an inner glow. I am positive. A huggable hello. I'm Pima Panda. Cheerfulness is the gift that I bring. I look for the bright side in everything. The positive things that you think you say create your tomorrow in a better way. I like to do my best. A soaring high, I'm Edgar Eagle. I stretch my wings to their widest span. I love to do the best that I can. You have an eagle inside of you too to help you fly high and carry you through. I am polite. Whoa, hello, I'm Harvey Horse. In the kingdom, we say thank you, I'm sorry, and please. We choose words with kindness and prefer not to tease. Show respect for others, and you'll always be aware of the many ways there are to care. I am cooperative. Hello to you, I'm Katie Kangaroo. I like to carry my baby Kyle. Hopping together, we travel in style. Cooperation is so grand when you work with others hand in hand. I trust myself. Greetings, I'm Greta Goat. I trust myself because, you see, my very own best friend is me. You have a best friend inside of you, too, so show what is right and true. I respect myself. Oh, hello, I'm Ryan Rhino. Inside myself, I'm strong and clear. I listen and act on what I hear. Take what you know, let it show. Your respect for yourself will grow and grow. I am calm and relaxed. You've spotted me, I'm Gina Giraffe. I stay calm since I've learned to be relaxed and moving in harmony. Take a deep breath and see how it goes, relaxing yourself from head to your toes. I am peaceful inside. Hello, I'm Tanya Turtle. I like to pull my head deep into my shell. There I find a quiet place where everything is well. 
By becoming very still, you can find it too, a place of peace that's inside of you. I am thankful. Baalo, I'm Laura Lamb. I give thanks for our lovable team and for the kingdom of self-esteem. I'm so thankful that you are here because you're a gift that's very dear. Whether you are big or small, you are the greatest gift of all. Now that you're part of our lovable team, we'll always hold you in high esteem. Day or night, it's always true, the kingdom lives inside of you. When you say these words three times in a row, I am lovable, I am lovable, I am lovable, your lovable self will magically grow. We're the lovable team and our hearts are a beam. We live in the kingdom of self-esteem. As I read through all of these characters and hear the things that they have to say, I can imagine my mother or my grandmother, maybe my sister and aunts, many of the women in my lives, saying these very things to me. Be kind, be polite, have fun, but study. Do the best that you can do. Love yourself, care for others. These are all things that we have been taught, not only through words, but also through the actions of not only our mothers and the women in our lives, but through all kinds of people that we encounter in our lives. As I read through these things, and as I thought about the message that it's teaching us and being the lovable team, I thought about raising my own son, who is only a few months old, <laughs> but realizing that it takes a village, and that is so true. These are qualities that not only we ask from our mothers or see in our mothers, but hopefully from all of the people in our community. These are the things that we promise to one another at a time of baptism, to care for one another, to support one another, to love one another. And so on this Mother's Day, as we give thanks for our mothers and all of these things that they do to support us and love us, I challenge each and every one of us to do that for every person in our community so that everybody hears that they are lovable, that they have a gift to share, that they are important just who they are, that they don't need to change, and they are welcome here. Because as the people of God, it's what we promise to one another, to love and encourage each other. Amen. I invite you to join with me in a moment of prayer. God of love, we know love and care, the importance of presence, because it first comes from you. Lord, we ask that you be with each and every one of us, that we might go out into the world caring for one another, loving and supporting, encouraging each other to be who you have created each of us to be, that we work together to be the lovable team caring for the whole community. On this day, we give a special thanks for all of the mothers and the women in our lives who have been that constant love and support and care that have encouraged us to be the beautiful selves we are, that have encouraged and supported us to love ourselves and to love others. And so we give thanks for the women in our lives. And we gather together saying that prayer which you taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. We at St. John gather together as one community to reach out to those around us, to share our love. But we don't do it just individually on our own. We do it as a community, as a village. And that takes your time, your energy, and of course, your treasures as well. So we ask for your donations so that we as St. John can continue our ministries, caring for our community. And so you can do that by giving through the Give Plus app, by donating on the St. John website, or by sending in your donations. Thank you. Your love is amazing, steady and unchanging. Your love is a mountain firm beneath my feet. Your love is a mystery. Gently lift me, and I am surrounded. Your love carries me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your love makes me sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your love makes me sing. Your love is. Surprising, I can feel it rising. All the joy that's growing deep inside of me. Every time I see you, all your goodness shines through. I can feel this God song rising up in me. Sing hallelujah. Now go into the world with eyes to see the needs of others, with ears to hear their cries of joy and sorrow, with hands that are ready to give. For you go in the power of God to the people of God. And as you go, may God fill you with peace. May Jesus Christ enfold you in love, and may the Holy Spirit lead you in hope. Amen.